Hi friends, I am here to explain you the MATLAB code for curve fitting. Curve fitting can be done in various methods. The first of all methods is straight line method. As you know, a straight line can be represented in the form y is equal to ax plus b. Yeah, so this is, I am going to teach you the code for this equation today. So the code is here. We start with giving the input n is equal to enter the values of n. Normally the questions that are given, they give us a table in which there are various values for x and y. Say 6 values. So we, we have to input that value here. So enter the value of n. Once we have given the number of values that is given to us in the question, we have to now give the input of x and y values. So we start with a loop. So for i is equal to 1 to n, input the value of x and then input the value of y. This will go on till we enter all the 6 values of x and y. Now we come to the next step, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, xy is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0. What are all these values? Now when we have to find the equation of this, we first represent this as the form uh, in the form of summation x then summation y then summation xy and finally summation x square so in, in our original code, these values x is equal to 0 represents the summation of all the values of x. y is equal to 0 represents the summation of all the values of y. xy represents the summation of all the values of xy. And x2 represents the summation of all the values of x square. So now initially to just to initialize, we take all the values as 0. Then we again start a loop in which we have to now add all the values that we, are, we have given because x is the summation of all the values of x. So we have to add. So how do we add? We add from 1 to n. As you can see here, x is equal to x plus xj. That is x value from 1 to n will be added in this. Similarly, in the next step, the value of y from 1 to n will be sum summed up in this. Similarly here xy, the product of xy will be summed up in this and the product of xx that is x square will be summed up in this. So once we get this, we have to find out the values of dA, dB and d. Now what are these? We need the values of d, dA and dB to find the value of a, b in the original equation. As you know, as I showed you, the original equation is in this form. To find the value of A and B, we need values of DA, which is determinant of A, determinant of B and determinant of D. So once we find these values, we simply have to divide DA by D. And to find B, we have to simply divide it by DB by D. Once we get this, we do f printf, which is the syntax of printing the answer that we get. The equation will be in the form of, as we all know, ax plus b. And why do we, in the next step we see, we have written percentage fx, because we are finding a. a is here, ax. a is a number, or it would be an integer, or it could be a decimal value, so we put percentage f in front of x plus so this is ax plus here we need b so it is percentage f again is equal to 0 now why is it a comma b a comma b because in the first percentage f as you can see here this one the first percentage f represents a ax and the second percentage f represents b ax plus b so now I can show you, we can run this code. They are asking me to enter a value of n. Suppose I enter the value as 2. 
now they want me to enter the value of x so let it be 1 another value for y 2 now they are going to ask for another value of x y because I have entered the value of n as 2 so the next value of x let it be 2 and let the value of y be 3 so now we will get the equation in the form of ax plus b is equal to 0 so this is how we do straight line method Thank you.